Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to use QuickMove Chrome module. Okay, for that what we have to do? We have to download a module called uh, QuickNote Chrome. So I am going to uh, download it. What does this module do is that the module name is wrong. This module is uh, used to clone any node which you created already. If you want to duplicate the same node, in that case, you can use this module. So it's downloaded. So here I'm going to click load clone install. So now ClickNode Chrome module is installed successfully. So this module contains some set of uh, permission and also configurations. So let's see one by one. So here, this is the configuration. And here we have configuration for node and also paragraph. So this module supports paragraph module. So what we will do, let's, let's see paragraph. I already created a paragraph called uh, Drupal 4, D4 Drupal. So it has two fields like a plain text and also one text here. So we will use the same paragraph type. Okay. So let's see what configuration it has and permissions. Okay. So first in the note tab, it has a field called text to prepend to the title. So when you clone your node, this text will be Add it at the prefix of your title. Okay, next one is clone, clone publication clone publication status of original. So this will clone the status of your node, which means it is published or not, it will be cloned. If you uncheck, it will take the default content settings status, which means when you create a content type, let's take vertical. So here, the publication option, if you mention uncheck or check whatever your default value you are giving, that will be considered when this is unchecked. If you check it, it will clone that value from your old node, okay? And here it has an exclusion list. So exclusion list, I'm going to do it for article. So what does exclusion will do? When you clone your node, it will uh, exclude some of the fields from cloning. So some fields will not be cloned when you clone it, okay? So for that, I'm going to exclude tag field. So I don't want to clone tag field when we clone the node. So next is a paragraph field. And we have only one paragraph that is default Drupal. And this paragraph is linked to article. So I'm going to restrict text area to get cloned from the old okay and save the configuration so let's move to the structure content type article manage fields so here i already created a field paragraph which is pointing to the default drupal para okay default drupal paragraph okay so let's create a content and check how it is working So it's a quick clone demo. And tag, just giving ABCD. And plain text, giving plain text. And text area, okay. And I'm going to publish it, okay. Let's publish the content. So now we publish the content successfully. So when I click on the clone, so you can see that text is pre prefixed with the title. So this is the text which we gave, right? So um, when you uncheck this option, this will take the default value for your publication field from the default settings, right? 
So which means in default settings the uh, field is unchecked. So it should be unchecked at the bottom. So you can see the field is unchecked. Let me showcase with um, enabling the option. Okay. So I'm going to enable it and save it. And let's reload here. So now you can see it's uh, taking the old data, old node data. So it's not taking the default value. Okay. And then next one is, uh, see tag field we excluded from cloning. So the ABCD tag is not cloned for us. So we can add manually here. And in the paragraph, we excluded text area in the paragraph settings. So we excluded text area here. So that exterior field is not known. So you can add manually. And I'm going to save it, okay? So uh, here you can see there is new content created here. Which is a cloning of the old node, okay? And this is how the cloning uh, module is working, the quick node clone. And it has some set of permissions. Let's see what permission it has. So, uh, which user should be able to clone the uh, content? So, when you give it for content editor, only content editor can see the clone tab in the node edit page. Okay, node a view or edit page. So, that is what this permission. And let's create a content person under content editor and show you, okay. And this user is a content editor. And I'm going to save it. So now we created a, a user successfully. So let's see whether the content editor has permission to access the content or not, okay? So it's a article. So he has permissions to create and he, he doesn't have permission to edit. Let's give any permission for the content editor. And I'm going to save it. So I'm going to open the Cognito window and user page. So let's log in as a content editor. It's, I think I gave username as only yes. Okay. So now I logged in successfully. So let me click on the content. See, now I have permission to clone it, okay? So, um, this is what this permission gives. And next one is the settings of this quick note loan. So which means, so this is the settings page. So whether that a particular role can uh, do the setting changes here or not, that's what the permission. So let's give this for a content editor and check it. So I give permission for content editor to edit it. So let's load here. So now you can see he can edit it, right? So this is what the permission which is coming with uh, quick note clone. So the next one is uh, they are providing one more clone link. So for that, when you use view, when you create a view and when you want to add clone link operation to your uh, node, you can do it. Let's see how to do that. Clone node, okay. And I'm going to do this for article and you can do it for all. I'm giving for only article. And let's make this table. Save and edit. So here, You can see the title is displaying, right? 
So here you can give clone link if you want. Add clone link, you can add. Apply. So now you can see the clone link is coming here. So you can click uh, the clone link in the listing page itself by using this feature. Okay, if you want, you can use it, that's it. So I can click on the clone link and I can clone new node here, okay? And the next one is, this module is providing two module handler for us. There are two hooks which is defined in the uh, clone, clone module and those hooks are cloned nodes and clone parameter field. So when you want to uh, clone a node and if you want to do any customization, you can do it by using this, okay? So these two are the alter hook which is coming from the quick note clone. So let me show you how to use it, okay? So in the custom module, I already created a module called general. So let's open that module here. And to write a hook, you need a module file. In module file, I'm going to mention a function general underscore the hook name, the clone nodes underscore alter. Underscore alter. And the argument for it is the argument will be trans, it's a node and then a Original entity, which means first one is translated node, which means the new node. Okay, translated node, comma, dollar O entity. You can say that as old entity or original entity. Okay, and I'm going to just mention A, B, C. Let me tell you how to use it. Okay. dollar translated notes tends to what i'm going to do i'm going to change the value for the body view okay so for that we need to get the value for the body field and then we need to set it get value of zero value okay It's a body field value. Let's keep it body. So next one is we need to set the field value. So for that, for the trans in the translated node only, you have to set the value. Okay, set of body field comma dollar. So I'm going to mention it uh, changed field, okay? So whenever you implement new hook, you need to clear the catchy. So let's go to the clone page and then clear, okay? So here you can see the field is quick note clone demo, right? So let's clear catchy and check it. So now you can see the field values change, right? When you want to do any customization for your cloning node, you can use this hook, okay? And these are the parameters required for that uh, clone node hook. And next to hook is that, that is for paragraph. So you have to use the same way for paragraph also. So let me tell you how to do that, that paragraph also. So, 
उसको आप इस खूब में एंड फर्स्ट वन इज अ ट्रांसलेटेड एंटिटी नेक्स्ट वन इज फील्ड नेम द फील्ड नेम ऑफ द पैराग्राफ कम ऑन डोनर फील्ड सेटिंग्स and one more thing you should not add condition like this how i have added you need to check what bundle it is what entity type it is you need to add those condition and you have to work it okay if you do it like this it will throw error on some other content type if that there is no field called body okay so here i'm just going to give uh, anything without any condition okay so next one is we know that there is a field called to explain right let's do for to explain then we will manage for me so is a field plain text okay so field plain text the text is coming as field plain text so let's do that for plain text translate and no stands to set off this field with the plain text changed field okay so this is also new hook so this is also new hook so we have to clear the catch to make it work so i'm clearing it so now we clear the catch so now you can see the plain text change field the text value is changed as per our mention mention so this is how we need to use both hooks and that's it about today's session okay and if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye